there, it's Paulette Smith welcoming you to Don Paul Marketing Moments, where we bring you marketing ideas and answers to help keep you online, on target, and on budget. Now, this week's question comes to me from Maria in Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, and my playground because Don Paul Enterprises is in Maryland, only 20 minutes away. So, hi, Maria. I received your question, and I'm going to share it with the audience right now. You want me to explain HTTP versus HTTPS and what those terms should mean to you as a small business website owner. Well, because I only have a moment or two, and this is a huge topic, I'm going to start out by inviting you and anyone in our audience who's totally unfamiliar with the terms HTTP, meaning Hypertext Transfer Protocol, or SSL, meaning Secure Socket Layer. If you don't understand those terms, I'm inviting you to connect with me for a one-to-one -one chat. However, for those of you who are slightly more familiar with these terms, but your website is still not secure, I'll continue by saying simply, HTTP is a way of transmitting data or traffic on the internet and HTTPS means that an added layer of security is involved. Secure socket layer makes it more difficult for hackers to intercept the data. Now it doesn't make your site hack proof but it does make it more secure. Now why does this matter to you and your small business? Because browsers control the traffic and browsers starting with Google Chrome are going to start naming and shaming your website to your visitors if it's not secure. Why are browsers naming and shaming unsecure websites? Because it's been more than 10 years coming and they want their clients to have a secure, safer environment online. Now what does this mean to you and your business? Well, when people try to visit your site, they won't be able to get in. They'll get a message from the browser telling them it's not secure. Even if you're not selling anything on the site, they may have difficulty. And what does it take for you to become compliant? Well, if you're a client of Don Paul Enterprises, then your site is already secure, or it soon will be. However, if you're listening and you're wondering what to do, start by asking your registrar. That's like GoDaddy or HostGator, but that's unique to you. Or ask your web host what you should do. That can also be your registrar. Just be aware. In every situation where there's a quote-unquote layman, that might be you, then there's also a gouger. And this transition should be done for free or little or no cost. You can even do it yourself. It depends on your setup, but maybe you can do it yourself. In summary, if you have questions about what steps you should take to make your site compliant and secure with the browsers, Set up a strategy call with me for complimentary consultation. Just visit me at donpaul.com. That's D-O-N-P-A-U-L dot com and click on Grow Your Client List. Well, that's it for now with Don Paul Marketing Moments. I hope you'll join in next time. Goodbye.